Hello, I'm Brett for the Pirate, and welcome to my Let's Play of Sea Bound. This is a game that seems to be made from, like, just pencils and stuff. I don't know whether it's, like, been scanned in or anything, but it looks really good, like, in pencils or crayons or pastels or something. Yeah, let's just play. I, I don't know much about it, other than you're at sea and... Instant of flashing lights, support points were added to drowning. Look, trigger warning. This is good, I guess. It looks amazing. I wonder if there's some re some inverse unit. In-game universe reason for it being in it's kind of chalk or is it chalk it's chalk isn't it yeah I'm not too sure what medium it is done in Game of Oxymoron. Forget what Oxymoron meant. <laughs> Oxymoron. There's something like. Oh. We RPG make a horror game jam. Four. All by Bergon. Must have been concluded quite some time ago, yeah. Always be meaning to add join another one of Burgon's game jams. Hmm. Oh, very moody. I like it. I like it so far. You open your eyes. It's dark, but you can see well enough. First thing your skin feels is a wood you're laying on. Soft, cold, rotting. Your head hurts and your ears feel clogged. Still, you manage to lift yourself up a little. Try to get close to the ship's railing. It's big, but you manage to capture a view above it, wondering why everything's so still when the waves should be. There's nothing. Not for miles and miles around. Just pure darkness. You try to take a breath. Your mouth and nose are filled by a cold liquid, instantly forcing you to cough. But you're fine. You try to breathe again, your body accepted it as a replacement for air. It's why you can see everything's under this liquid. It's cold, transparent, and... Are you... Underwater? I'm okay. I can breathe. I'm okay. God in my head. What happened? I can barely remember anything. I think I was on the ship. Then there was a storm and... Wait. Sal? Sal, where are you? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Oh God. Okay, breathe. Yeah, just... Clicked like this is a horror game. <laughs> I know I'm spooked now. <laughs> I'm pre spooked before the spookening. God, I hope Sal is okay. I have to find him. He can't be far off, right? Okay, where could he have ended up? That's nice. Oh, check out that animation. Using the movies. Let's stick figure. Age seventeen to what is his 
What is it? 125. 1,250 HP. Quite a lot. <laughs> That's more than my characters have in my game. <laughs> Wheelhouse holds this entrance to the lower decks, but you can't get in with the state the ship's in. This guy must be pretty small to have a 1,250 HP. <laughs> Looks like these windows weren't damaged so much. Maybe you find something heavy enough. I don't see anything. Hmm. Yeah, so far so good. What? What do you do? As if I can't. Do I go this way? More down to the opposite side of the deck. Do you push it? Okay. Is there anything I can do? So smart. Some kelp. You don't like how it clings to your skin. Look help. I thought it was a scarf or something. Guess it makes more sense for it to be kelp. <laughs> Why would there be a scarf under the water? Wait, is it underwater? I don't I have to admit some criticism. I, I don't I don't know where we are. Sturdy branch must have come out from someplace in the ship while well, sinking and landed here. Do you pick it up? Guess you use it to smash open the window. Oh no, oh! Monster! Quick better be running. What is that thing? This save. Oh, had to check. A little spooky. Oh, that's right. They let you try again. That's nice. Ugh. Okay, looks like it can't fit through the windows. What the hell is that thing? What's going on here? Oh, what's going on? Well, at least it looks like Sal isn't out there. But if he's not outside, does it mean he's downstairs? Guess there's only one way to go then. Ooh, spooky. Think further. Your old diving goggles. As a kid, it was so cool to see underwater with these. They always put it on too tight and had to take them off after five minutes. I haven't been used for a long time now. 
Mm, diving goggles. I wonder why. You, I wonder if you have to wear goggles. While underwater. You. Don't remember taking them for the trip. Can you get injured by not wearing goggles? I don't know. I see swimmers wear goggles. Some drawers. The bottom one fell off. Do you open the top one? Sure, why not? This is Insta. This is Masao. It's locked. What's well, locked? If you remember correctly, this door leads to the lowest part of the ship. It's locked though. Got the key view around here. Mm. Don't tell me it's not locked at all. Really? That's okay. I can barely see it. <laughs> okay, criticism one. It's <laughs> they don't really stick out very much. It's too big to fit in the door lock, but it could open something else. Do you pick it up? Door lock. Perhaps that's a point. Perhaps it's like adds to the challenge. Still leads the last part of the ship. Too big for the lock. Open the top one. Yes. Dirty key. It looks small enough to fit in the door lock. Do you pick it up? Yes. It looks very similar. <laughs> similar keys. Not the right one. Kelp. Does that mean the monster's gonna come? It pulls you in. Does that mean the monster's there? Bet the monster appears. It's like an important clue. Use a key you found. How cute. Draw you made a cell and you at the beach's parking spot. Your mum. <laughs> oh, your mum. <laughs> is in the background looking for a good spot. It's every day at the beach you're there to pick cell up. His parents left you with him and your mum over the afternoon. You always thought they seemed nice, but you never got to see them that much. Sal always looked a little off at that parking lot. Said was low and he rarely looked at his parents. Once you got to the actual beach, he looked a lot happier when he got to play with you in the water. The day you decided to take a picture there, you cheer him up. You never liked seeing him sad. He's sad. 
kept all your old drawings in your room. It's possible that this got here, but you guess it's nice to see a cell again, even if it's just in drawing form. Where could he be? Very rusty key. Definitely looks like it fit in the main door slot. Pick it up. Yes. I bet you that monster's gonna attack. Of course he's gonna attack. Another kelp thing? Oh. That pulled me off. Stuff. <laughs> That's a tough phrase. Oh god, oh, got me. Don't know how he can. A little bit of criticism. How does he put the lock in the door while he's being chased? <laughs> it's quick. He's very fast at putting the lock in the door. I just gave that thing too. What are those kelp monsters? Oh no! Did did they find cell? Did they do something to him? Okay, okay, breathe. Soul's okay. He has to be. I just need to find him. And if he wasn't here either, that means he's at the bottom of the ship. Okay, then I'm gonna go there. And I'm gonna find him. He. He has to be okay. What are you doing here? You're underwater. You could just swim up or something. Why would you want to stay here? Why would you want to look for... The ramp is destroyed from here. Do you jump down? Yes. Oh, it's getting harder to breathe. And it's really dark. It's like the ship's engine. Apparently the felt here while the ship was sinking wheel it's relatively in good shape. There's a small hole on the side. If you use it to turn on and make it move away.
Some sort of piston. The second was part of the ship's machinery. Whoops. Lost now. No, it, it can't be. Your mom's Polaroid, in perfect condition. Exactly how you remember it from your childhood. You also remember the day it was broken, dropped while you were moving some old boxes. I used to look fine. How did it get here? Start to feel dizzy. Like we got separated with something, but not broken. They can still be used. Do you pick it up? When you made a cell and you were at a cliff. It's time to go home and Sal's parents will arrive soon. Those look sad when he had to leave. If you see each other the next day, you're sitting on the nearby cliff, you decided to be with him until he had to go. The sun was setting. You both stayed there in silence for a while. He looked at the horizon. I like paying in the sea, he said. You can go wherever you want and be whoever you want. I think I like it better than home. Here I can feel I can be myself. Especially when I'm with you. Searching your pockets gave him a small rock you found in the sand. You can have it, you said, to help you remember the beach. 
Hope it makes you feel like you can be yourself whenever you want. From that day onwards, every time you went to went to the beach, you took a small rock home from him. With him. Can't pronounce stuff. Mum then came to tell you Sal's parents have arrived. She decided to take one last picture of you two for the day. When, even when she said smiles, hard to look away from Sal. Sean was signing behind him. The wind was lightly ruffling his hair. He looked so pretty. Oh, are you gay? <laughs> it's fine if you're gay. I never knew. I missed him for so long. Unless it's a girl. Oh, are we a girl? How did I? Crap, I can barely see anything. I can't even tell where I'm going. Leave it in the hole. Is a girl. Listen, the gay bros. Are they gay bros? Kind of came out of nowhere. I thought they were just homies. What's the crowd you get on your twelfth birthday? All twelve colors. Can't even tell them apart in the darkness, but you're comforted by it. You've been drawing for as long as you can remember. Crowns were your way of representing everything. Seeing everything. Remembering everything. Eventually getting through the pain. Crowns, the loneliness, the dark. Your lungs can barely get enough air. Your body is trembling from the cold. Everything's starting to feel fuzzy. Oh, oh no, I can't. It's too cold. What? Oh, you tricky bastard. Feel the metal cracking under your feet. Creaking. Creaking, not cracking. Oh. Start folding. You're too cold to swim. So you just sink. Slowly. It's a familiar feeling. That's depressing. Don't tell me that's it. Just go away.
What are you doing? Why do you keep trying? Just get out and leave me alone already. I'll be fine. Just go away. You don't know what you're doing. I don't know this won't end well for either of us. You're just gonna get hurt. Please, don't do this. I know how you feel. I really do, but I can't. You suffer again because of me. Do you really not remember? There's a bra on his head. <laughs> There's a weird haircut cell. To are you right under the sun? Yeah, I'm fine. I think Sal's over there looking at something in the sand. He asks him if he wants to play with you. He always takes a rock with him, right? How about you bring him one in case he doesn't have any? Okay, Mom. He's got his boogie board. That's how he bashes his head in. Hi. Hey. hey. What are you looking at? There's a rock at the bottom of this puddle. You gonna take it? I don't know. I don't really want to leave it there. It looks like the one you gave me the first time, right? Oh yeah, it does. Gave me the first time. Does it feel weird that's in a random puzzle? A random puddle. What do you mean? It's like the rock feels lonely. Lonely? Hey, you know what? It's like the sea's getting rowdy. Maybe we can catch some waves and stuff. Oh, and I race you there. Okay, just give me a second. Are you going swimming? Please be careful. The waves look pretty strong today. Strong. No, look at the waves. Don't go near the rocks. So it's like crayon. That confirms it. I thought it was pencil. Left, I said there's a lot of kelp over there and could be dangerous. Okay, Mom. Yeah. Come on, Slowpoke. These waves are awesome. Hey, wait for me. And this sells the girl. Is sell the girl? Hey, it took me a lot of practice. 
Could be just as false as me if you spend no time to see you know. Wait now, but he called him a he though. Well, maybe not. They tell you what. How would he race to the rocks over there? It'd be like a training. But, but my mum said, come on, it'd be fun. Who's drawing the stuff, especially now with this new crayon you got? You have time to race with me anymore. Please? Okay, fine. Heck yeah, let's go. Hey, wait. But the water is so cold. I always get dragged into these things. Well, maybe I can catch up to him. Well, let's kelp. Okay, he's not too far off. I hope I actually beat him for once. We just need to get a little closer. Aha! Uh -huh. I win again. I mean, racing gets more fun every time. Don't worry about losing, though. I you can win you keep at it. I we kept practicing till you beat me, huh? Well, and you died. You're drowning. So, where are you? You haven't reached the surface yet, huh? That's fine, I can wait. You killed him, Tercel. You killed him. Tur, can you hear me? Can't really see you under the water, but you're coming up, right? It's just kelp, I mean... Oh, there you are. I was starting to worry. Got brain damaged. Oh, he's floating. No! <laughs> That's sad. Hey, what are you two doing here? Told you not to go near the rocks. Come back this in. Tur? Tur? Tur, are you okay? Can you hear me? So, why isn't he moving? Oh, Tur's a guy as well. Say something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Help! Somebody help! Oh, I'm sad now. Please, anyone help. My son isn't breathing. Somebody call the lifeguard, please. Help me. Oh, he killed himself. I killed him. You sure you want to do this? Mom, I haven't seen him in five years. Is it really that weird I miss him? No, but meeting like this, you know what happens to you when you're underwater. We're on the deck the entire time, Mum. Just a fishing trip. Not gonna do anything dumb. That's fine with it. If it wasn't there, would have happened to her. Wait, Toe's alive? What the hell's like the under. the. Afterlife to something. Do you think it'd be good for you? Neither of us have gone to that beach since what happened. I think we need both need a bit of closure. Okay. Okay, you're right. Wait, didn't they report a chance of storms in that day? Come on, Mum. Even there was one, Dad a storm and tiny nowhere at sea could lead anywhere bad. We well, fine, I promise. Alright. Be careful, okay?
Be it here just laying down this whole time. Yep. Not much else to do, honestly. Room is nice at least. Well, it gets a bit mouldy sometimes, so it's not bad. The wood is surprisingly uncomfortable. It's probably because it's rotting. And it does get mouldy. Maybe you shouldn't lie on it. And the coffin is compensated. Compensates it. And who has ever died from a bit of mould? No idea. We were first to die from underwater mould. But... See why you pick this place. It's nice. It's too dark to tell what piece part of the ship it is. What do you think? I don't know. The boiler room maybe? I don't know what the ship would need to boil. Boiler room doesn't need to have boilers. Oh, okay. Look, you, you can just leave, okay? It's fine you don't want to see me. I thought the whole point of this trip was seeing you. Maybe you're just trying to help me. Why, are you kidding? I could also try to help you. You're my best friend. What if you hate me? I hate you. Do you think I'd even be here? Of course I want to help you. What if I don't want to see you? Oh. Okay. If you don't want to see me, I'll leave. I promise. God. Of course I want to see you. I want to more than anything for the last five years. Also, just thought of it feel like getting stabbed by 700 kitchen knives. So, I don't know if I should even try. I understand. If you asked me to go, I'll go. Guess you must have been through a lot. Oh yeah. Hey, let's play a game. Who do you think deserves more sympathy? Boy died, but boy literally killed him. I'm, I'm sorry. I should shut up. Why do you say you killed me? I wish you to go near that help, didn't I? You only asked me. I vomited all that stuff about the rock feeling lonely. Come on, you just felt bad. So you're trying to manipulate me? What? No, of course not. It wasn't your fault. By the way, let me ask you something. Do I look like a corpse to you? What do you mean? Stop breathing, of course I. Oh. What? Come on, man. I just know what you're trying to make me say. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, for the love of... No, Toe, you don't look like a corpse. In fact, I think you look really handsome. Are you gay? <laughs> no, they're gay! <laughs> they're gay! It's fine, it's fine to be gay. No. Just kind of... You, you just don't expect it. I thought they were just friends. Kind of just be a bromance. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Not only for what happened, but for not reaching out. Again, is he dead or not? I'm sorry too. Hey, must feel a bit lonely down here on the floor, right? I fell also lie down. So I admit moldy wood is comfortable. Think about something a bit better. Yeah, I didn't expect the... Didn't expect the romance. Or the bromance. <laughs> Pretty forward to her. So you don't want me to lie down next to you? You've been working on your, <coughs> on your confidence these years, huh? Guess I have to break a sweat to catch up to you. Now I'm flooded. 
Now kiss. Bird kiss. Bro job. Bro job. <laughs> but now I'm fine with how things are looking. Bro job. Bro job. <laughs> Your skin feels soft and cold. Must be for being underwater for a while now. I'm sorry you couldn't go to the sea for so long. No one's special to you. It's okay, but an odd way it feels like I never felt it. Maybe when I've tried my hardest to forget. It's like I'm bound to it. Promise you won't laugh. I promise. Might have written a song about the sea. Oh really? I mean, there's nothing special or anything. Does he have lyrics? Is this something I like to play on my piano from time to time? The same music repeated three times. It's really not that good. Sure, it's beautiful. Well, guess that means I have to play it for you. When we get home, we could be seeing each other, that is. Can't wait. Maybe just seeing, just with seeing you. Oh, they're gonna kiss! Guess they're not really kissing, are they? It's more like their nose are kissing. They're kissing like gnomes. Nose kissing. <laughs> oh, no, not like gnomes, like Eskimos. Bro job. <laughs> Bro kiss. Yeah, that was good. That was good. What can I say? Um, I don't know, I'm not really... Up oxymoron. Yeah, I'm not really a horror ga guy, so I can't really offer you any criticism. That is, if you even watch this oxymoron. Um, yeah, it was really good. Very compelling. I, I love the art style. Really unique. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, wait, no, I've seen chalk. I've seen similar looking games, and I don't think I've ever seen a horror game way like this. Yeah, with crayons. Yeah, that was good. Very high quality. Makes me ashamed of my game jam game. Um. Yeah. Had me confused. <laughs> I didn't, know, I didn't know there were bros. There's a bromance going on. There's an LBGT romance. This is good. Part of the, part of the twist though, I mean, you, you don't expect two dudes to... Yeah. I didn't expect a bromance, <laughs> like literal bromance. But yeah, that was good. I enjoyed it. it. wasn't particularly scary, but horror games usually don't need to be. I don't. I don't. I mean, don't have to be anyway. Yeah, it's all about the experience. Um. Yeah, stop doing critiques on horror games. I just, I don't know where to, like there's no bugs or anything. It's fairly smooth. Yeah, especially the, the movie clips are really cool. I've never really seen much of that in RPG Maker where you, yeah, I guess it's a benefit to doing it in crayon. Um, 
what else? Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Guess that's it. See you later.